Bunker Hill residents say the town board is putting them at risk because of their own negative views of the former police department. This comes after the town's marshal and reserve officers resigned last week over concerns about the board members and their behavior. News 18's Alexis Moberger reports how the board denies most of these accusations. Hey, Alexis. Brittany, the locks have been changed and the firearms have been cleared out of Bunker Hill's police department. Former town marshal Michael Thomason is adamant that the board was in the wrong, but one board member says there is no proof. I think it was a campaign to smear and, you know, bring down the town, and I'm not going to stand out of that. It's been one week since the entire police force of Bunker Hill resigned and left the town of 900 without any local law enforcement. And in this case here, if you're really concerned for the community, why duck and run? Former town marshal Michael Thomason says this comes after the board was involved with what he calls unethical activity. He says board members asked police to provide classified information like background checks. Board member Luis Nino says that never happened. One of the things I told uh, Mike, the marshal, is put it in writing. Because if it ain't written down, documented, it's just hearsay. So I would like for to challenge him on his little accusations and the rest of the reserves. Monday night, the board held a meeting to discuss how much longer the town will be without local police. But some residents, like Robert Cox, took the opportunity to speak out against the board. Councilmember Nino uh, has been arrested in Miami County for theft and intimidation. So that's a big concern. Cox also says a council member's wife, who is also the town's treasurer, was arrested for seven felony theft charges. So those things reflect kind of a negative view by those personnel towards a law enforcement official. It's an impacting the department. He says many residents now hope to get resignations from the board. We can get some people into these positions that actually respect and cherish law enforcement. You know, they, they are our front line of defense. So. But Nino says he hopes to get a new marshal and new reserves who obey the law and respect the board. I think there's some, a lot of half-truth and uh, I can't go in which one because there's so many thrown at this board. But the biggest thing that I look at is just because you put uh, lipstick on a pig doesn't make it a beauty queen. The board hopes to announce the new marshal by January 2nd, as well as the new part-time deputy. And who it will be? Alexis Moberger, News 18.